Good morning, good morning, good morning with the double Shooter McGavin. You remember Shooter McGavin? <laughs> Let's see, what was the name of the Adam Sandler movie? Happy Gilmore, <laughs> Shooter McGavin, man. I love that character. He was awesome. Uh, by the way, that's how I golf, just so you know. Check this out, okay? I can barely grow a beard, but when I do, it's coming in gray. <laughs> You know, I thought having a gray beard would make me distinguished. Instead, uh, it begs the, the people to say, oh, are you looking for a senior citizen discount? <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. But hey, no, wait a minute. I don't do bad jokes. Uh-uh. No, I don't. But I want you guys to sit tight because I want to show you something right now. And then I'm going to come back to you, okay? So sit tight for just one, one minute. One minute. Don't go away. Now that I've wet your appetite, let's wet our whistles. Have a toast with me, won't you? My cup. <laughs> it's invisible again. Oh, man. I just love my coffee. I don't know what it is. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. That is a good cup of coffee. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, food preview and drink preview. Um, so... Uh, I'm not ready to tell you my featured dish this week because I'm going to tell you why. Felicia and Chef Rowe went on a much needed little mini vacation, I think, to North Carolina. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they went to North Carolina. North or South? One of those two. But there's only two Carolinas, if I'm correct, right? Is there two Carolinas? Only two? Not three? North and South Carolina. I think they went to North Carolina. There we go. Anyway, um, so they're on their way back today. We missed them a lot, and I uh, hope they had a wonderful trip. Here's to you guys for working so hard. So as you know, uh, we celebrated Kim's birthday. And by the way, she wanted me to thank everybody uh, for all of the well wishes on the podcast. So I just want to say thank you for being so kind to my wife and uh, on her birthday and wishing her happy birthday. It's pretty cool. Uh, she got a lot of likes and comments. And um, anyway, that kind of made her feel good. So thank you. Thank you very much. And let's see what else. Oh, so Chef Rose's birthday's coming up too. So normally what we do is we celebrate both of their birthdays uh, on, on the same Sunday. Um, but since they were out of town uh, this past weekend, we decided we're going to wait till this upcoming weekend to celebrate both of them. So we're going to do, um, I have a special dish that's called tomato steaks that everybody says they love. I think they do. I think they really do love it. I don't think they're being nice to me. I think they really do like it. But it's my specialty dish, um, and I'll be cooking that for uh, for everybody. And I'm excited about it. We're going to have a lot of fun and, and hang out and listen to music and talk. And, and hopefully they'll tell us about their trip. And I hope they had a great time. I really do. Um, and uh, so we got Kim a really special birthday present. Uh, I'm really stoked about it. We've been talking about it for a few months, but um, I have a an e-bike, and it's a really cool, nice e-bike. And, you know, we decided we're going to get outside more. Like I told you guys uh, uh, not too long ago that we want to, we should get outside more, just be outside more instead of inside since we've been kind of cooped up for a year now, right? Uh, it's time to get outside, get outdoors. And uh, so we decided to get her an e-bike too because I like mine so much. They're just so fun to to ride, I mean, because you can pedal, uh, you cannot pedal if you don't want to, and uh, you know it's it's really cool. And they're getting um, better and better and better. They go further, uh, like the bike that we bought her. 
Um, it's coming soon, by the way. It, uh, it can go uh, 60 miles on one charge. That's pretty good with the pedal assist. Uh, and if you don't know what pedal assist means, it's a, I call it Superman mode because when you start to pedal this bike, um, you're going, it's, it, this is the best way to describe it, okay? <laughs> you know when you go to the airport and you're on the moving sidewalk, right? The moving escalator thing, a flat one. Well, and you're walking and you're walking normal, but you're going twice the speed as the people that are not on the uh, escalator or the moving sidewalk, whatever it's called. Uh, and you feel like, yeah, look at me go, man. <laughs> I'm hauling, baby. <laughs> anyway, that's what it feels like. But it's pretty cool because, um, you know, as you get older, you, you want to have uh, a good workout's always good, right? But you also want to have fun. And uh, so I'm at that point because I've been riding mountain bikes for years and years and years and years. And uh, I'm to the point now where I just want to have some fun and riding those things. Um, is a lot of fun. Uh, it's more fun than a moped. It's more fun than a scooter um, because you can you can pedal, you can hit the trails. Um, we got Kim a mountain bike just like mine, and um, well, not just like mine. <laughs> mine is a little bit higher end, just a little, uh, and she'll probably dispute that. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're we're excited uh, for her, for that bike to come, and we're gonna take it out for a run. And uh, we're going to be taking a little trip uh, sometime in the next couple of months to Green River, I think in June sometime, um, and rent a cabin up there for a couple of days and float the Green River. That's so fun, guys. If you haven't done it yet, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a calm river. You can take kids on it. They, they've got rafts you can rent. They, they put you in the water at the top, and then you float down. And it's a good two, two and a half hours, depending on how fast you want to go. Um, but it's a nice leisurely stroll. You, there's some rapids that are kind of fun um, that you can that you can uh, go through. Uh, and then at the bottom, they pick you up and then take you back to your vehicle. Now and then from there, you know, you can do whatever. And we uh, last time last year we we stayed in a uh, in a cabin and it was really nice. It had its own little lake and just beautiful. I, I showed you guys some pictures of that one. But we're going to do it again this time. But this time we're going to take our e-bikes and ride around and uh, there's uh you know there was uh, some pictures i showed you of these really huge cliffs in the river down below i mean massive cliffs i don't know how many feet they were but they were huge kind of scary looking over um but we're gonna we want to ride our bikes around there and um uh, and just check it out and enjoy enjoy the the bikes and and the scenery and all that kind of stuff and I'll take some new pictures for you and show you the trip because it's going to be a blast. But, uh, you know, we've been talking about uh, trips and, you know, when we can finally get going. Uh, looks like uh, they're trying to, uh, they're talking about the mask mandate and, uh, get you know, removing that uh, soon. So we'll see what happens, you know. Uh, but uh, as I said in my interview with Christian McConey yesterday, by the way, it was a great interview. Uh, thank you, Christian, once again. Um, you know, we, we're going to be try to be ready for anything uh, that comes down the pike. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's just that's just, uh, you know, we're just looking forward to it, though. It, it'll be it'll be pretty cool when this thing is over. Hopefully it'll be over soon. <laughs> anyway, we want to invite you out to Ro Valley's Ristorante Italiano for lunch or dinner. We open at 11 a.m. today and we're also doing curbside um, dine in with the social distancing. Uh, you saw in my little clip with the uh, the dining room picture. That one, you can see that the tables are far enough apart that it's a, it's a safe environment uh, for the protocols that the health department has called for. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we're still doing that. Uh, so you can uh, go online to rovalleys.com at R-O-V-A-L-I-S.com or you can call us at 801-394-1070 and we would be uh, more than happy to serve you up some delicious food. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, one other thing. So we're getting some AC put in today um, for our house. Uh, we've had a uh, evaporative cooler for, well, since we've been in this house, which has been 27, 28, 29 years, something like that. Uh, but it's time. <laughs> it's time. Last year there was a time, little time frame between one and three where it was really warm in here. <laughs> and uh, but you know now that I have my studio in the basement, uh, 
it's always cool down here, always. So I can work out of here, no problem, and it'll be great. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're getting the central air in today and uh, looking forward to it. And I will make sure I tell you about the project because let you know how good these guys are. I think they're really good. They just installed a central air in Andrea and Miguel, Chef Miguel's um, home, and uh, she said they did a really good job. So let's see what happens. All right. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm so glad to see you and, and talk with you and, um, and hang out with you. And don't forget, we open at 11. We'd love to have you for lunch or dinner today. And um, I, think, I think that's about it. All right, you guys. We'll see you on the flip side. Let me see if I can do this now. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm working it. Okay, there we go. We'll see you on the flip side. Ciao for now. Bye.